Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at the W65 flashlight from Welltool. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. That's where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the full review. That way you can just stop watching because now you know exactly what I think about it or you continue watching because I do go into more detail about the things I say and elaborate a little more and it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. So with the well tool flashlight, the beam pattern I think is really important when it comes to a flashlight review. So this one is not a flood, it is more of a spotlight. So it is something that's going to go a longer distance and be brighter there in the middle uh, and not really spill a ton on the sides. So this is not something that I recommend for CQB because I don't think uh, it's necessarily the best light in that scenario. This is more something if you're gonna wanna shoot a little longer range and want to be able to get a clear field of view of what you're shooting at uh, and a point of reference, this is a really good light to choose. So 1250 lumens and over 83,000 candela. It also has a beam throw of over 630 yards. So that is their numbers, not mine. Uh, but what I have found in my testing seems to be very consistent uh, with what they're saying on the website. The nice thing about the batteries, you can either run the rechargeable 18650 battery or you can just run two CR123s. So it really depends on what you want. You can switch that up and uh, run which one you prefer. Or if one goes out, you can switch to the other and add those. But so far, the light has been good. Durability, I've had no issues. I put it right next to this uh, break here. As you can tell, it's it's kind of gotten blasted, but I've had no issues with the light itself. No real durability tests, uh, like actual drop tests. But so far, with a normal testing that I have done, I've had no problems with it. So now let's get into my relationship with Welltool. They did send me this light. I did not spend my own money on it, so I do appreciate them for that. Now let's get into the full review and go over all the pros and cons and a little bit more detail of why I said the things in the 30 second breakdown. So with the beam pattern, like I said, I think that's one of the more important things when it comes to a flashlight review. As you can tell from the B-roll here, this thing is much more of a, a solid beam. It's like a lightsaber. It has a very bright beam and it goes a distance. I was able to shoot a little over 300 yards with it at nighttime and still be able to see my target just fine. Obviously, unfortunately, the cameras don't do a super great job of picking those up. So you're just gonna have to take my word on that. Uh, you can see obviously for the B-roll that the beam does look bright, but it does take away a lot from the lights when you're filming. And I don't have a really nice professional camera to be able to change all my settings to be able to try to get the best of the best out of it. So uh, unfortunately with flashlights, you're gonna have to take my word on some of these things. But uh, the head of this thing does a really good job of throwing that light. Now the downside to that being is the fact this one will not be quite as good at your close quarter combat situation. So if I was building out a home defense or a CQB gun, this might not be the one that I would choose. Not saying that it couldn't do it, it just might not be the best option for that kind of situation or that kind of build. This is more or less something that I would put on a build that I plan on shooting a little farther distances and not quite as much close quarters. And that's just kind of one of those things with flashlights. You can either have one or the other and not necessarily always both. Some lights do a good job of kind of filling that void of both of them to give you that distance and also uh, having the flood. But this one is just really good at giving you that long range. And I like that because it's a little different than what I have. Some of the other lights I have that have really big floods and it's great. I mean, like obviously your, your Surefire M600DFs for this one's kind of a best of both worlds, but a little more on the flood side in my personal opinion. Uh, but that is really gonna come down to you and your personal preference and what you're actually putting this on and what rifle you're dedicating it to. So while we're talking about the M600DF, this is actually gonna compare really closely to that. So if you're comfortable with this Surefire, you're gonna be super comfortable with the Well Tool. It's gonna be very similar in size, obviously a little bigger of a head and a little different of a tail cap. Now you can actually just buy the head and put it on the bodies of Surefires. So that is a bonus and obviously a plus. I like when companies do that because obviously Surefire has a really well trusted uh, body. So you can just buy the head if you want to and throw it on what you already own. They also have their own body and their own tail cap, which is what I have on here. Here, and it does seem to work really well. Again, super comparable to this. And uh, if you're comfortable with an M600, you're gonna be very comfortable with this flashlight. Everything seems to be nice, looks nice, a good finish to it. Now the mounting solution is going to be the same as your Surefire, which again, is such a smart idea. Uh, same thing as like footprints for uh, pistol optics. I wish everybody would just choose one footprint so you don't have to do dumb plate systems. It's very annoying. It's a, an extra expense that no one wants to spend and it's an extra thing to go wrong because now there's two more screws and a plate in between everything. So it's quite annoying to do that but what I like is when companies just choose the same uh, footprint. So you can mount this on all of your same Surefire mounts, what you already have, your R sockets, your impact weapon components. Uh, you're good to go, so you don't have to buy an extra $40, $50 mount to go with your flashlight now. 
Now for durability. So far, it has been really durable. I've had no issues with it. Like I said, this brake here is, is blasting the crap out of it. Every time I shoot it, it seems to handle it really well. Uh, it has a little bit of discoloration, which is to be expected, but I've had no kind of durability issues. Now, with that being said, I have not done any actual drop testing or any uh, durability tests. This is just the life of the flashlight that I've had it with the course of the testing that I do. So uh, with that being said, it's been durable for me. Can it handle getting smacked around really hard and dropping on rocks? Uh, maybe something we'll have to find out later in the testing. If anything changes, I will update you guys. So now let's talk about batteries because that is something that is super important as well. So you have one 18650 battery that comes with this. It is rechargeable. I think that's a really good battery and it works really well. If you don't like that and you really prefer your CR123s, you can just do two of those and do the same thing. So you're looking about an hour and a half runtime. I personally think I have more than that on this. Uh, I've used it, charged it up, and then used it again. I still haven't charged it the second time. I usually like to at least drain the battery once and then recharge and see where we're at. I personally feel like I've used it more than an hour and a half and still have gotten good light output. I could be wrong. Um, I don't actually have a timer every time I go out there because when I'm doing drills, I'm either doing like a on offs or I'm just leaving it on, shooting some long range, turn it off. And then throughout the time of being out of the range, you know, turn it on to find something and whatnot. So it's kind of hard to tell exact time frame, but I feel like personally it's been longer than that. Uh, but that is what they say on their website. Either on the B-roll or I'm gonna stop here and show you guys some clips of the light. Uh, either way, I haven't really decided yet uh, which way I wanna do it. I'll figure it out when I start editing. Um, but you'll be seeing some light outputs of this and maybe comparing with uh, some different lights like a Surefire or Cloud Defensive and seeing how this compares with those. Uh, but a thing to note with flashlights is it's really gonna come down to your personal preference. You're gonna have different colors, you're gonna have different beams, you're gonna have different distances. You know, your, your Cloud Defensive have more of a yellow light. Your mod lights have more of a blue Blue light you know that's going to be all personal preference i can't sit here and say oh this light's better uh, because i don't really personally think either light has a giant benefit over the other enough to where it's like okay that you have to buy this one because it's better uh it's really going to become a personal preference with that so i can't tell you which one's best that's going to be for you to decide but this one has more of a white light to it as you can tell from the videos and again just to note uh these cameras don't pick up everything so uh, you might be looking at that and be like oh wow that's not nearly as bright as i thought a flashlight would be uh it's mainly because the flashlight's not necessarily picking it up very well uh but i do the best that i can to try to give you guys an idea of what these things look like now for the price and the only real con that I have noted with this flashlight, uh, it's gonna be $240. Now it's not that expensive when you compare it to your Surefire's Cloud Defensive because it's pretty comparable with those, honestly, maybe a little bit cheaper, but I know you guys and I know who really wants to spend $240 on a flashlight. It's a lot of money, it is, I understand that, but when you wanna buy something nice, a little bit higher quality, uh, definitely compares with those other ones on the market. You can go a little bit cheaper with like a Streamlight around that $100, $150 market, you're gonna get a decent flashlight, uh, but this one is gonna be $240. So with flashlights, it's really gonna come down to what gun you're building, what you want that gun to do, and uh, your personal preference. So hopefully this video was able to help you decide whether this is a flashlight you wanna get, or maybe it's something that you wanna pass on. If you guys have any questions about the flashlight, please put them in the comments, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability and as quick as possible. If you guys wanna help out the channel and things I do here. There's a couple ways to do that in the description. You doing those does help out the channel a ton and I really appreciate it. And then that guys, there's a couple companies that support me and the channel, Howitzer and Brownells. Howitzer is a clothing company that donates 5% of proceeds to charity and they make some amazing clothing along with uh, just being a great company. They support a lot of great things and uh, their clothing is fantastic. Brownells is a fantastic company, pretty much the only company I go to whenever I'm looking for accessories and other things for my uh, firearms, but they are a great group of guys and I appreciate them so much and the support they give me. Other than that guys, thank you so much. This rifle, uh, it's almost done actually. I've already reviewed this one, so if you're interested in this, check out the review here. Just got this one done. Um, I threw a bunch of new products on this gun and started testing everything. Uh, I got the arrow charging handle here that I'm gonna test and then the actual rifle itself that I'm gonna be testing. So uh, stay tuned for those things and you'll see reviews coming shortly. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate you all.